Hello and welcome to the next episode in my Minecraft 1.16 Let's Play series. This has been quite a roller coaster of things. Um, this is the first episode to record since I stopped <laughs> editing videos, but um, with my new video editor and everything, I think. I think it'll go pretty well now. And since I've been recording, um, I did a few off-camera things. First, the most significant thing you might see is that I have removed a lot of trees around this area. And really, it's come to benefit me in many ways. Here is my... Um, my chicken pen area. I outfitted it with hoppers to collect the eggs and put them in a chest. Pretty, pretty standard stuff, really. And some birch saplings got in there somehow. Um, and then it also makes it so that I can easily find my cow pen, which happens to have more than one cow in it. Yes. Mm -hmm. Turns out, directly east from here, several cows spawned. So I led one. I led one over here to make two, because in the in a previous episode I had one, and I was able to breed successfully. Oh, now there are lots of cows coming. Okay, but anyway, those are the two major things I did. Um, apart from well, just fishing too get more food. I didn't get anything great. I think, I don't know if this was on camera, I got one used fishing rod, which I, well, one or the other pretty much got down to four durability, so I just combined the two and made a new one, but it's still, I'm gonna have to be a little bit conservative with this, because, well, I don't want it to break. Um, but, now that I've shown off all of that stuff, let's go down to the meat of this episode. I would like to explore that ravine, the surface level one, because it just, it might be a little bit more complicated to do at night, and I just, I feel like now would be a good time to get that all lit up and stuff. I have slightly changed my mind. Um, well, we're definitely still going to be exploring that ravine, but I would like to get this wide area lit up first because this is prime spot for things spawning. Um, I thought I saw, yes, creeper is right there. It can't get to me yet. Now it can. Okay. I almost thought it was going to blow up because that click did not <laughs> register. Here's a second creeper. I think I'm just going to let it pathfind to me and then fight it on my own turf. Okay. That bat. That bat sacrificed itself for a creeper. That's pretty sad, if I do say so myself. Okay, this stuff is already lit up. Huh, I must have gone through here at some point. Let's go back. Random grass block. Interesting. Now we can go over here. Is 
that. Okay, that's a skeleton, that's a spider. Ah, this is all lit up, so I don't need to worry about this area. This is just not a not a fun sight. I'm gonna have to just rush the skeleton. There we go. Next plan of action is going to be to block off this water source because water that you don't place down yourself is just not it's just not good water, don't you? Don't you? Second time! A second time! <laughs> Already, too many bats. Okay, this thing just goes up and into a different area. Yeah, I'll. I don't want to get too far into a cave system because we already, I guess, um. Guess this episode we're not quite going to be exploring that ravine just yet. This is just too tempting to resist. More water, yay. It goes down. It I think I'm going to utilize the tried and true method of ways out because the deeper I go into this thing, the harder it is going to be to figure out where anything is. I do actually want to fight that spider because string is going to be very, of course, you didn't drop my string. Okay, <laughs> very valuable. But, alas, it was not meant to be. I now have removed pretty much all of the common ores from this immediate area. I <laughs> kept hearing a witch. It's over here. I saw it. You really, okay, you really had to do that to me. Say, okay, it's over here, I know it. And then not have it be over here, that's pretty. Oh, a whole zombie army is coming here now. Good thing witches do not act like zombies do. Yep. Wow, okay. I <laughs> I knew that they I knew they prioritized healing themselves over over hitting the player, but I really I don't think I've ever had a time when it when the witch has not hit me with a potion before, so that's I'm pretty proud of myself for that actually. And witches are always like the one mob I'm scared of the most. And of course, this case system just keeps going. I have decided to pretty much give up on, like, keeping my way, finding my way back. Ah, uh, that's a piece of string. Um, since this cave just goes so many different way, so many different ways, so. I just, um, I know the coordinates of my base, so I'll probably just dig up when I'm done. Block that up. Oh, great. That was a dead end, so that's good. Fewer areas to check. This little area underneath 
where I was before with that water um, turned out to be two dead ends, which <laughs> in my mind is a big win. Okay. I just encountered two creepers on this on this trail here. Make it three. Two of them exploded, I think. Um so yeah, this this area should be pretty mob free now. Except for these pesky areas but thankfully I got it loaded up in time ah oh, okay That is another creeper. Very nice. I should be using this axe that uh, did not register my my reflexes right now. I don't think it's as much my reflexes as me <laughs> pressing the wrong buttons. Now I can go over here. Hello, creeper. Ah, that guy almost blew up. Go down there. All right, this is a... It's like a tiny ravine, aww. Yeah, I just wanna... How did... Oh, is it... How did the arrow go... At, at that angle? I don't know. I will figure out soon enough. I have a feeling. Huh, might not even be in the ravine, but this ravine is pretty confusing. Oh, that's the skeleton that shot at me. Okay, makes sense. My inventory is getting pretty full, so I will have to go back in a little bit. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll worry about you in just a minute. Don't worry. Thing is, there aren't too many. This is actually a good thing that I just, I kind of did on accident, but it's actually good to like, it'll help me get down there. Um, but as you can see, okay, that actually hit me. There aren't like any alcoves here that are too high. Well, I'm just, I just made some, but I am lighting it up at any rate. And here I think I can go ahead and start my descent. Uh, 
Okay. I think I'm just gonna have to go in for it. I totally have my shield up. That's another skelly. It's gonna be good to block off this water right now. And now it's pretty much just me and the bottom floor mobs. I wanna get rid of this creeper right now. Huh. Iron sword and iron sword and wooden axe, stone axe, um, makes it a two shot. Well, I just hit level 30, so that's going to be good for when I want to start upgrading everything using the enchantment table. That uh, little ravine actually got me <laughs> um, plenty of coal, at least. And this is just a little packet of iron. At this point, I um, think it's getting to the end of the episode, but um, this caving session might not have been the most exciting for you, um, but I think it had a few good parts in it. But I think what my point is that next episode I will be concentrating on trying to get diamonds. And so, from now on, I think any any iron coal caving I will probably do off camera just to just to do it and then that will leave my recording time for the more exciting things good I managed to make it back without any surprises let's say and I made it back with quite a bit of coal, so maybe I'm done coal mining for now. Anyway, I am going to end this episode here. Next episode, hopefully, we'll get some excitement in it. But at any rate, I hope you enjoyed our little caving adventure. And I will see you next time.